Hi, welcome to another tutorial of a notation series. My name is Jairaj and uh, thanks for joining again. So in this tutorial, we will learn about component annotation. Component is from a Spring framework. It is a user defined annotation. It is not a Java standard or Java's built in annotation. And here user is a Spring framework provider. And a component is one of the five stereotype annotation in Spring framework and it is inside this org.springframework.stereotype package. So our first question is what is this stereotype annotation? So in Spring all different Java classes have a specific functionality and uh, this stereotype annotation gives generic idea about them. So this component annotation is kind of a parent annotation that means we have other three controllers service and repository annotation and uh, these uh, other annotations are children of the component and we will discuss them in detail in upcoming video. So there is something called auto configuration and component scan concept in Spring framework which is very important. So what happens is when we start a Spring application, Spring container will scan our entire code and it will create beans or objects in other words uh, for necessary classes or we can say some important classes that is required to operate the application. So this component annotation helps container to identify those classes. So when we use this annotation on some class then it indicates that an annotated class is a spring managed component and it is eligible for bin creation and dependency injection. And here I am assuming that you guys know what is dependency injection. So moving ahead uh, this is the signature of uh, component annotation in Java 8 and here as you can see we have one element value. And uh, here this value represents suggestion of name of the bean at the time of component scanning. So here in my Eclipse I have one uh, dummy project and I have created this car class here and uh, I am annotating it with the component uh, annotations. And here inside that car we have this engine. So basically car is dependent on engine. And here we have this component annotation and I am not passing any value here. So let me start this application. And here I am using actuator tool because I wanted to show what is happening internally. So this application is up and running and this is my postman and if I hit the send here then I can see this all the APIs. So if I hit this actuator bean API then it will respond with all the details about uh, all the beans that has been created uh, after application startup. So let me search with this car. So control F and if I do car then as you can see here we have this detail of this car uh, bean. So dependency of this is engine because we already put it and the name is car. So here I didn't uh, pass any value so that's why it is taking default value for the bean name. And the default name of the bean is the first letter will be uh, lowercase. So let's say I want to change it. So in that case I need to pass here value. So inside this value let's say I am passing something like like this okay and uh, if i if i restart this application and if i go and hit the same api again and now let me search this so this car see if you can see here this name of this bean has been updated so this way we can use this value element if we, uh, we want to create a specific bean on some particular name so this way we can use this value element of a component annotation to create bean with some particular name. So moving ahead as I mentioned previously that all annotations have two basic properties a target and a retention and uh, for this particular annotation target is a type that means we can only use this annotation with class enums or interfaces and if you think it makes sense actually because we can't create bean of method or variable we have to use this annotation with the classes only. And uh, retention policy for a component is a runtime. That means this particular annotation will go till compiler and tell compiler to do something. Because creation of beans actually happens at the runtime. So this property is also making sense. And the benefit of using this annotation is a spring container can identify which classes are eligible for bean creation and a container will create those classes. So that was all about component. Thank you very much.